something else, you have one minute to answer. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, right, Yasmin. So this is the OSCE mm -hmm. station. Mm -hmm. um, so have you read the scenario? Yes, I have. So please tell me what is your understanding? Okay, so this is a 45-year-old patient who has previous history of asthma, who came in with um, shortness of breath for the past three days, for, past, for the past two days. Um, and he's usually on salbutamol and he ran out of his inhalers for the past week. Um, and that was the information that was given. Okay. Yep. So, mm -hmm. go ahead. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you? So, he's short of breath. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Mr. Khan. Okay. Okay, Mr. Khan. My name is Yasmin. I'm a sixth-year medical student. I just want to know, um, can you just tell me briefly what happened? I've been short of breath since morning, uh, okay. coughing for the last two days. Mm -hmm. Do you have any medical conditions, sir? Any asthma, heart problems? Um, I was told I've got asthma and a blue inhaler was given. Okay. Have you been using that? Um, I ran out about a week ago. Okay. Do you have any chest pain, sir? Uh, no chest pain. Any cough? Uh, yes, constant cough. coughing. Is it dry cough or is it with um, phlegm? Uh, it is. seems to be dry. It's dry. Okay, sir. Um, any medication? Any other medications that you're on? Uh, no, I don't take any other medications. Any allergies? Uh, no allergies. Okay. Um, I'll just quickly. The airway is patent. The patient is able to speak. However, mm -hmm. he's speaking in short sentences. Um, for the breathing, I want to check his respiratory rate, um, which is 34. He's tachypneic, and his saturations are at 96. Um, I'll auscultate the chest. So you auscultate and there's a stethoscope. Yes. We'd like you to auscultate. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of wheezing all over the chest. Okay. So um, we'll need to start him on um, salbutamol nebulization and also can we get the peak expiratory foam? Okay, so you've got equipment here. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we need to do it before. Okay, so I, I will do that while yeah. you get ready for the nebulization mm -hmm. equipment. So I'm putting it on the oxygen. So the peak flow is 200. Okay. He weighs 70 kilograms. Okay, so I'm just putting in the oxygen and the uh, um, nebulization starting at five milligram of salbutamol every 15 minutes, three times. Okay. Um, he's currently at around 60% of peak expiratory flow, so that's moderate asthma. Um, and his circulation, I'm moving on to his circulation, his heart rate, his tachycardic, his blood pressure seems to be fine. Um, we'll also start him on additional like um, prednisone tablets if he's able to take it orally. If he's not, we can start him on IV. He's able to take orally. Okay, so we can just give him prednisone 40 milligrams. PO. Um, afterwards, I we need to um, get him get some lab investigations. Um, can we just get um, CBC? to see if there's any infection, mm -hmm. leukocytosis. Um, we can look at CRP. We need a chest x-ray um, to identify any pneumonia or um, chest pathology. We can get an ECG, although he doesn't have chest pain. Um, we can get an ECG as well. Um, and we need to check the peak expiratory flow after the salbutamol um, administration. Um, okay, so the nebulization is ongoing. Mm -hmm. I will let you know the results of investigation as soon as they arrive. Mm -hmm. um, so you're given steroid and the nebulization is ongoing. We can, can we also get a VBG to see if he, his acid base? Okay. Yeah. So so we've done the EBG, ABG, mm -hmm. uh, or VBG, the results of the... Okay. So he's in acidosis. Um, 
It's respiratory acidosis with low saturations. Um, so will um, the salbutamol is not working. Um, did we give it three times already? Uh, no, this is the first time. This is the first time. So yeah. we'll just give another one in uh, 15 minutes after the first one um, and check his saturations again. Um, otherwise, his management is um, will need to, if he's not improving on three times nebulization and the corticosteroids, um, we can give him magnesium um, and admit him for observation for 24 hours. So what thoughts are going in from your mind about differential diagnosis? Okay, so um, the most likely differential is an acute asthma exacerbation. Um, however, we need to keep in mind other respiratory causes like um, any infectious causes like pneumonia or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, we can also think of like other cardiac causes like cardiac asthma or um, if he's in heart failure, although he does not um, seem to have evidence of, I did not check the lower limbs, but I'm assuming there's no lower limb edema. Um, ha doesn't have other signs so of heart failure. So you can check if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there is no edema. Okay. And um, I just wanted to ask the patient if he's feeling a little bit better, if he's been hospitalized before for um, asthma or not. You have two minutes okay. Right. remaining. Okay. So finally, I like you to speak to the, you said you want to admit him mm -hmm. to medicine. So if you speak to the medical on call, Dr. Okay. Amr, so you speak to him and convey the findings mm -hmm. and justify the admission. Okay. Hello, Dr. Amr. Hi. Um, I'm Yasmin, a six-year medical student. Hi, so, I'm on the medical uh, Yeah. Um, we had a patient who has who is a 45-year-old, known asthmatic, came in with a decreased saturations and shortness of breath. Um, we started him on nebulization um, and corticosteroids. However, he's not improving. His saturations are still not improving without the without the oxygen and um, we we want him for medical admission since we are classifying him as most likely severe asthma. Um, okay, mm -hmm. okay, we accept that. Did you do any workup for him? So his um, his VBG came back um, as a respiratory acidosis and we're still waiting on the other labs for um, the infectious causes, CBC, CRP um, and his electrolytes and um, complete metabolic panel. Okay. We'll take the and we've already done the chest x-ray. Did you find anything in chest x-ray? No. Oh, okay. We'll take him and review his medication. And do his okay, thank you. Thank you. Yasmin, this is the end of OSCE station. Yeah. So you have finished, completed the station. Mm -hmm. We'd like you to move on to station number five. Okay, thank All you right. so much. Thank Dr. you. Bye-bye.